my thotties and welcome back to my crazy ass channel this video is going to be different because of the fact that i'm an idiot and i'm just pissed right now so i got a new camera to up the quality on my channel but as i was recording this video i didn't realize that it was picking up my camera's audio only and it sounded like this hi, hi thotties, thotties and, and welcome, welcome back, back to my, my crazy, crazy ass channel. channel but this episode was way too juicy to just ignore and forget about that i had to go ahead and give you guys at least a little bit of a recap of what happened so it's not gonna be a long video but it's gonna be informative so go ahead and learn bitch all right so we're gonna be doing this over i really hope everything works and if my microphone is fucked up again i seriously don't know what to do so let me start another recording just in case but we're gonna go ahead and start out in the romano household because that's where our story is going to begin today oh my god i really hope i don't miss any key parts i'm sorry you guys are gonna hate me for this but i want to make the episode super fun so we're in the romano household and mama rosanna is not around she's just shopping doing whatever she freaking wants to do and as you can see ah oh, the little bitch farted but okay as you can see this is Kristen. i gave her a makeover you guys are probably wondering carmen does she have makeup on and yes the fuck she does bitch rosanna's been wanting a daughter for how long so she's just gonna be like toddlers and tiara's beauty pageant queen she's freaking adorable and yes she looks just like thorn bailey so of course we will be begging him for child support later <gasps> oh my god it's like the game just knows i was about to invite over morgan anyways because of the fact that you know rosanna's not around so she went ahead and called up victor who's rosanna's husband if you guys don't remember but like bitch you should by now he's super pumped up from the steroids and also from his head and speaking of head he is trying to get some his wife is not around and now we have a nice plastic little slut coming through so we're just gonna go ahead and make out with her because he's a cheating ass motherfucking pig kiss her a little bit and the reason that morgan actually came through is because she's messy okay we know that she's messy and she wants to assert her dominance right now as we know her daughter ran away marie is gone living with the aliens being a crazy ass bitch and morgan's kind of feeling like she doesn't have nobody so what do you do when you feel like you don't have nobody you ruin everybody around you's life that's what you do you ruin literally everyone's life so that's exactly what's on her agenda she wants to get pregnant by victor so that she can go into rosanna's face and be like hey, 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 i took your man you know all of that stuff so we're just gonna go ahead and try for baby in the shower but he's gonna think you know he's not gonna get pregnant she's gonna do the whole i swear i'm on the pill my ovaries are like so old i like can't even get pregnant like don't worry let's just fuck let's just real quick it's gonna be no big deal and that's exactly what we're gonna do he's gonna go up the stairs and be like you know what i could do this i have a feeling that this baby isn't mine because she's blonde literally what the hell rosanna told him that she bleached her hair because you know she's not much of a dumb bitch and she thought it would work and it did for a bit but but he's not that dumb where the heck did morgan go are we not doing the damn thing do you not want to hook up anymore you would think that with a bird's eye view of the entire town i'd be able to freaking see her but bitch i need to come in you before you leave and oh my god this baby's freaking hungry let me just cheat need it so it doesn't get taken away but look at this cutie okay there we freaking go hello morgan nice to see you please don't leave again unless you don't want to get pregnant hello okay they're about to go bang in the shower oh it's so steamy i don't know if she's gonna get pregnant but oh oh he's pulling her in there it is steamy as Book, and it literally sounds like there's an elephant banging through the wall. That's how hard he is f***ing her. He is f***ing her through there. Oh my god. Can I see? Can I join in? Oh, this bitch empty. But I'll just pretend like I'm having a threesome with my sims. You know, it's been a long ass quarantine. So I'm just going to pretend like I'm fucking slipping and sliding around in there. Wow, that was a great woohoo, Victor. You're so sexy. Thank you so much. Ooh. So, okay, they're gonna go ahead and do that. We're not gonna know if she's pregnant or not yet, but you know, she probably will be. So she's feeling very happy, and now she has yet another thing to go ahead and fuck over one of her friends' lives with. Okay, so let's see. The next thing that I did before, you know, I realized that my game was fucked up was take Dylan to go out and hang out with two of his great friends friends we have one more day until brandy gets ungrounded so we're gonna have him go hang out with marie and perla at the island bluffs and he just wants to talk to them and have a good time with his friends Ooh, so this custom island bluffs is so cute but 
pretty much what I had Dylan do over here was first go ahead and light a campfire. And we're going to have a little bit of a serious conversation. So I want Dylan to go ahead and come out to both of his friends. They don't know that he's transgender. All that they've ever known is that he's Dylan, you know, that's it. So he's been really nervous about this. And also what I mentioned before when I filmed this was that I really hope I don't overstep over here. I support the LGBT plus community 110%. You guys have all of my fucking love and support. I'm a straight cis woman so i've never experienced any not feeling comfortable in my own body or having to come out and have to deal with you know people treating you differently or being nervous of your friends dropping you and stuff like that so i'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet because i don't want to trigger anyone or bring back maybe some bad memories but i want it to be as sweet and supportive as i can to portray it in the let's play so dylan's just gonna go ahead and be like i love both of you girls you're always so sweet to me and always so helpful but there is something that i want you girls to know i'm still the same old dylan you're like what dylan like what's going on uh, pearl is not having it okay maybe we'll go tell her after but he's gonna go ahead and tell marie and be like you know i'm the same dylan but i am transgender and i hope that you can still support me and we can still be friends and look at her she's like oh my god dylan that's like amazing that's like perfect you're so like sweet look she doesn't care at all and he's like oh my god that was such a relief i'm so happy so let's go give her an awkward hug and be like oh my god thank you for supporting me and she's like oh my god like of course i don't give a fuck what you are dylan i'm like obsessed with you and then because of the fact that marie does have a little bit of a crush on dylan she's just gonna go ahead and compliment his appearance and be like oh my god dylan like you're actually so good looking you're like so cute dylan oh oh my god wait burning it down oh my god excuse me what the fuck come over here is he gonna die dylan oh my god we almost lost him that was not cool that's not good no the last time i did it in my game when she complimented when she complimented him, he got really shy and uncomfortable and he yelled at her too. But I guess it's different. So he's feeling confident and she's feeling confident too because she's like, oh my God, do I like have a chance with him now? That's going to be like so good. Wow. Okay. And now we're going to have Dylan do the exact same thing to Perla. Where did she go? Perla? How hard? Oh, I was going to be like, it shouldn't be this hard to find a fucking blue bitch, but she's passed out. So let's go wake her up and do the exact same thing to her and just be like, hey, Perla. I'm trans, <laughs> you know, just kind of like that. And obviously, Perla's just going to be like, Dylan, I'm blue. I don't give a fuck about your past. I care about you and your future and your well-being. And I care about you so much more now that I know that you trust me enough to share that with me. So thank you so much, Dylan. I fucking love you. And they're just going to have this cute little moment. It's freaking adorable. And I'm so obsessed. I've also been seeing so many shifts in the comments. Like some of you guys want Dylan to be with Marie. Some of you guys want Dylan to be with Carla and some of you guys want Dylan to be with Brandy, but as for right now, let's just say that all of the girls kind of have a little bit of a crush on Dylan and they're all like, you know, I could see myself with them, but Dylan is still so unconfident with himself and his appearance and just everything that dating and getting with someone is literally the last thing on his mind right now. He does not want to do it, nor will he do it for a long time, but that was so cute. Let's have them stargaze and finish off their night together. That was so cute. I'm literally obsessed with the results love okay so we are back in the romano household and as you can see this bitch is upset just um you know ignore the fact that she got punched in the fucking face we're probably gonna make it happen again everything's gonna make sense once we get there but if there's one thing that rosanna knows she knows that she is sexy and she can use her good looks to her advantage no matter what so, of course, having a daughter has always been her lifetime dream and goal. And finally, she has her beautiful baby girl. And the fact that her baby daddy is extremely rich and famous is just a plus. So she's pretty much just going to go get some child support from him and get some sexual support that she's not getting from her husband. She knows that he's a cheater and she's kind of curious that, you know, maybe he has a little STD cooking. So she's just going to stay away from him from a week or so. But she does really want that money. So we're going to take a trip to Dalso Valley, go see her baby daddy and let him know the news that what's up i popped your baby out of my coochie what you gonna do about it and by what you gonna do about it i hope he says that he's gonna give her some money okay so she's in a bitchy bitchy mood so let's go knock on the door as hard as she can and maybe thorn's gonna knock on her walls oh shit is he going for a swim or is that the kid 
Okay, can I just say for a second, why is this child's name orange? Like, weren't you glad I didn't name my baby some stupid ass fucking name? Like, why a color? I just don't get it. But Octavia's over here and I'm scared of that bitch. I am scared of her, but what I'm not scared of is getting freaky with thorns. So we're just gonna go up to him and be like, oh my God, hey, I'm here in the daytime and you better fucking listen to me or your wife is gonna know all about your dirty little fucking Marvin. secret, which is your affair. And he's like, bitch, first of all, who let you in here? Who got you keys? And she's just gonna be like, don't worry about all of that i'm here and i want to take care of you and i also want you to take care of me and do you know what i mean so what she's gonna do is go ahead and get some woohoo action because she knows you know once you satisfy him for the first time you have a better chance of getting some money and some support from him we have a freaking baby by him one of the richest most well-known celebrities in the entire sim world so she's gonna milk it with her big fat juicy titties and get under that bed and work her magic she's gonna play with thorn in there can i join in like i said again quarantine oh is very lonely are you guys what are you guys even doing wow what wild rocking sex as we can see they're just laying there <laughs> like dead corpses so she knows what she's freaking doing thorn has no clue he has a baby yet again so we're just gonna speed through and go ahead and tell him the news of guess what i had your freaking baby it's been a while but i need child support oh, is he really walking away hello is he really dipping oh my god we're literally gonna we're literally gonna go tell your freaking wife, Thorn. But yeah, she's gonna go ahead and drop the child bomb on him and just be like, yeah, you know, this is my baby. <gasps> oh my God, his wife's over here. <gasps> Oh my God, I had no idea. So she's just gonna be like, Thorn, you better give me that fucking money. And let's also kiss his neck in front of her. You know what? Might as well because I'm messy and I want the freaking drama here. And I kind of want her to get her ass beat by Octavia. But Thorn's gonna be like, wow, a kid. But, and he's just gonna go ahead and give us, you know, a little bit of money right now. Let's just say $100,000 to start. Oh, she's irritated. Look at Octavia. She's like, not in my fucking house. Can I just ask, why is the little boy so happy? He's like, hell yeah, dad. So Octavia is clearly not that happy about it. You know, she has a smile on her face, but it's totally like a sarcastic smile. And everyone's like, hmm. Thorne's pretty much like, are we going to have a three-way? This is going to be great. We're in a new relationship. She's going to be like, Octavia, like, what's going on? You're so pretty. And Octavia just, oh, get her. Tell her that you ruined her fucking life and that you're not happy about it. Keep on doing it, bitch. Oh, my God. Give her the one, two, three. Give her the four. Give her the five. Do everything. Just keep beating her up. Do what you gotta do. Bitch, is this Roblox? Is she is punching like it's freaking Roblox. <gasps> oh, my God. She did not look like this before. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Are you good? Are you okay? Is everything all right? Wow. Her ass is up in the air and Octavia's like, now that's how you clear a bitch. Point blank parry ho. I'm just gonna make Rosanna take her ass home. Oh my God, look at her. Walk with a lamp, lamp. <laughs> I'm on that thought, shit. Egg. You know why these studies love me? Cause Carmen don't give a fuck. My Sims be fighting left and right and fucking and then pull it out and they titty fuck. Okay, anyways, she's just gonna go ahead and limp on home. <laughs> I feel so bad, but you know what? When you play stupid, when you play dumb, you win dumb prizes. And Rosanna has learned a very important lesson today of when you're the side hoe, you cannot go in demanding money from someone else. But of course we have a plan to go and make things a little bit different. So I'm gonna make Rosanna go ahead and limp on home and then she's gonna cry to Morgan for help because obviously, you know, she got her ass beat and she knows the Sinclairs have a way of doing things, okay? She knows that the Sinclairs know how to take care of motherfucking business and make people disappear if they have to. So she's gonna ask them to go ahead and meet her at her house and let's do okay, it. Okay, so in case you guys forgot, Granny is now a uh, young and beautiful maiden we still have to use her to somehow get marie and, and try to convince her to come back or like you know trick her into going somewhere else and then you know we'll we'll do a lot of stuff but while we're here i want morgan to go ahead and take a pregnancy test before we go over to her house so where the y'all not have a toilet anywhere oh here i don't know if she did get pregnant but let's go take a test and see if his nut was powerful enough this is gonna be her way to power by the way you know lose a kid make a new one type thing and also have something to shove in rosanna's big fat juicy titty face oh my god rosanna's boobs are so nice i wish my titties were like that but you know what i was cursed with flat titties but at least my ass is fat anyways she is pregnant so that's amazing so she knows 
<laughs> now I have some things to win. <laughs> Oh, why is Judith calling us? I'm not sure, but let's go and travel back to Rosanna's house. I'm sorry that we're all over the place, but like I said, I'm trying to squeeze in everything that I did today while also putting a video up for you guys. The first video that I filmed was an hour and a half, and then I started editing it, trying to fix the audio. I wasted another two hours trying to remove the audio looking like shit like that, and I just couldn't fix it. So I'm sorry that it's a little bit shorter and not as entertaining, but I just wanted to have a video for you guys today. I didn't want to take another day off i'm sorry but let's go ahead and knock on the door and we're just gonna shove it in her face and be like oh look at me i'm pregnant we're not gonna tell her that we're pregnant by her husband just yet we're gonna save that for just the moment where we have to you know fuck her over and really make her sad and stuff like that so where's rosanna 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 did she not even come back to her own house i'm not sure i have to invite this bitch over to her own house oh my gosh but okay she's on her way and rosanna's pretty much just gonna cry to her and be like <laughs> oh, i had a baby and look at what happened to me yeah yeah, I had a baby by someone that's not my husband, and I thought that I could make a whole bunch of money from it, but <laughs> this is what she did to me! Can you help me? Can you get rid of Thorn and Octavia and do something about it? Because, oh, I'm in so much pain. Everything hurts. And Morgan's gonna be like, oh my god, cute nose job, babe. You look so good. She's gonna be like, can you be serious for one second? I got my ass fucked over. I didn't get my ass fucked. I got my ass fucked over. Okay, big fucking difference. Oh. Clara, what is wrong with you? Leave, bitch, go. Oh, they're both crying for her. You're such a fake bitch. You know you don't care. But she's just gonna be like, oh, darling, I'm so sorry. I can't believe that that happened. Would you like me to help you? Would you like me and my friend and colleague to help you out? And then she's also gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm pregnant by the way. Definitely not your husband's kid. Just, you know, <laughs> I was getting busy. So she's gonna be like, yes. Can you please just get rid of them for me? Do something. I know you know how to make a bitch disappear. Like, poof, you're a magician or something. And she's gonna be like, oh, of course. Of course, darling, I got you. Everything's gonna be fine with her awful ass reputation. And she'll also go ahead and, you know, give her a hand massage because she's just such a great friend. <gasps> okay, never mind. She's not getting a hand massage because this bitch is too busy digging in her ass, I guess. So let's quickly, oh my God, I'm not gonna have time to upload today. I'm so stressed out. I'm so sorry. I spent so long doing my makeup up and getting my camera set up just for everything to flop i'm sorry you guys i promise the next episode will be so much better but let's go on over to delso valley and try to find a way to deal with the bailey moon household this i didn't do yet okay i ended off the last episode with not even going over there and i was like okay i guess in the next part we'll fuck them over but we might just kill them I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh my god, we can't even knock on the freaking door. We gotta catch someone outside. Is someone in the pool? <gasps> no one's in the pool. Why are you guys indoors? This fucking sucks. Okay, well, we'll just steal their food while we wait or something. I don't know. But yeah, so there is a mod that lets Sims get kidnapped, which I kind of want to use on Marie, but now I kind of want to use it on like one of them. How the fuck did you get inside? What the hell? I don't know. Because it would be so easy just to like kill one of them right here, right now. But I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. She doesn't know that Morgan is a two-faced, insane motherfucking bitch. Even though you can hear that from a mile away. So where's Octavia? Where is she? I just want to talk. Okay, come outside. I'm not going to jump you. I just want to say hey and congratulate you on your new lipo. Yeah, you look amazing, girl. So I think what I'm going to do is be terrible like hey octavia it's so nice to see you i heard you know you went and saw my friend rosanna earlier so oh man oh man oh man oh man this is fucked up but let's just say she got a lighter and gas in her hands and she's just gonna oh god oh my god wait i actually feel bad i actually feel really bad wait a second oh my god she's burning freaking alive what do i do oh my god octavia okay i can't do this extinguish her i can't i don't want her to die like this okay maybe we'll just torture her is that you know help enough we lit her ass on fire and she just burns and shit that would scare the hell out of me but i don't know if i want to kill her i don't know am i too nice for this Where's grandma? Girl, get your teeth out. We could have her jump thorn or something. Like at the end of the day, it's his fault for being a cheating ass weirdo. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, is he in the tub? Oh no, that's Octavia. I don't know. He's hiding. Come on out. Okay, I guess he went to work. I'm not sure. This sucks. 
Maybe we'll get our revenge next time. You guys can tell me what you want to happen to Thorn and them because we could easily kidnap them, torture them, and, you know, deal with all that fun stuff. But I think I'm going to end off here because, like I said, I do still want to upload today. I'm sorry that this was such a slow and kind of rushed video. But like I said, I spent so long recording the first part and I really took my time. But then I was like, oh my God, the audio is messed up and I'm not going to have time to like fix it and re-upload and do face cam because my camera's dead and all this shit so i'm really sorry but i hope you guys like this video but yeah i will be ending off right over here i'm sorry that it was so much shorter again oh my god i keep apologizing but it's just the canadian in me next episode will be much better i'm sorry i hope the drama was at least good you guys can go ahead and talk to me in the comment section down below tell me what you liked about this tell me what you hated about this and also you can make fun of my nose because i see you guys doing it all the freaking time thank you guys so much for watching again i really appreciate it and shout out to all the new subscribers that i've been getting from this let's play i'm so happy that you guys are around and still digging it but again thank you guys so much i'll talk to you tomorrow and goodbye thoughties